What's up guys? We're going to Raxolotl for a rank one clear. Um, with, well, obviously all mods are on if it's a rank one clear. And this is the party we're using. Uh, still don't have Chow. Still don't have Chizuru. So, um, I know I skipped Chizuru in hopes that an upcoming banner would have, you know, powerful units. And I mean, all of seems strong. She only does a couple things, but she does them well. Uh, she has some downsides, but I went ahead and pulled for her. Um, yeah, I mean, she had, it seems like she has a pretty good, you know, TMR and STMR. She does a lot of damage. Um, I think she'll have uses long term. Kind of sucks that she's SLB, but it is what it is. Um, so anyway, the boss is a bird, uh, bird fish, uh, weak to fire, lightning and light. Um, it does water and earth magic damage, uh, a blend of water and earth and magic damage, not in, non elemental magic damage. Um, some single target physicals, a physicals, it reduces your evasion, uh, puts up mirage on itself, busts its defense and spirit. Uh, counters, attack, and magic breaks with defense and spirit buffs that can't be removed. Like, none of its buffs can be removed, it seems like. Uh, dealing its elemental weakness damage for two turns in a row will reduce its buff durations, though, for defense and spirit. Um, what else? What else? Um, yeah, it puts up uh, defense and spirit buffs and evasion every 3N minus 1 turns, so turns 2, 5, 8, 11, so on and so forth. Uh, it has a 3 turn rotation, which uh, I think it uh, on the threshold, the 50% threshold, it like skips a turn its rotation. But anyway, um, yeah, if you don't deal its elemental weakness damage, it does a huge magic nuke. So... Um, oh, it does 100% imperils to earth and water. So, between its imperils, which I think it does those only every three turns, maybe. But we're, we're trying to gear for 100% resist with buffs. So, on our magic tank. So, anyway, we'll go through gearing. Um, Esther... Uh, base form, just LB damage against, uh, Bird and Aquan. Uh, full LB, a uh, little shy on Avian and Aquan, but, and she's got Wilkes card for the morale fill every turn and a high attack. She's starting in the shift form, uh, with some morale fill gear in the Magister's Helm, Obsidian Bracer to force that, um, counter. So the thing with its defense and spirit counter buff counter to attack and magic breaks is that it has a four turn cooldown and it only lasts like three turns. So once it pops that off on turn one, it won't be able to do it again until the end of turn five and turn five is our burst turn, but it wears off on turn four. So we should be all right there. She's also got some preemptive LB fill from the Dragon's Brush and Call of the Wild. You want to make sure her um, TMR and STMR are not equipped so that she doesn't preemptive cover. So there's her gear. Uh, Olive has the um, Morale LB mod buff card. And she's just built for LB damage against... Uh, Bird and Aquan. Nothing too special there. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate that she doesn't cap LB damage a little easier. But anyway, it is what it is. Sylvie, uh, she's on... Um, oh. What's his nuts? Uh, Carbuncle for some light resist. We're imbuing the boss with light. This will just help with her uh, taking some physical attacks. So, uh, built, and she's got a counter build, just high bulk, high defense, high HP. 
There's that Yeti combat style. And ship form is the same. And she's got the this vision card for the HP and defense. Fina and Daisy, they've got Kresnik's card for the TDH spirit. Um, and just a lot of water and earth resist. So Sylvie can give us a 200% earth resist. I think we end up at 75% after the bosses in perils. But it does more water magic damage anyway. So she should be fine. So here's her gear. Um, mechanical heart for some counter healing. Uh, she's starting in the shift form. So some preemptive HP fill for some uh, morale fill. Pure Lotus for some auto buffing and some, actually this doesn't even matter. That doesn't need to be on her. We're getting a better Aquan mitigation from Roberta. So just some, uh, some preemptive morale fill that's one time during the whole fight. So that's on her, but she's staying in the base form the rest of the fight. Uh, Kresnik, just a dual wield counter build with Yeti combat style, hopefully to help with LB fill. Um, Philosopher's Stone Seeker for some morale fill. And uh, Sylvie's vision card for some morale fill every turn. And then Shift is built the same. He's not at 100% evasion or anything. So, And Roberta, true double hand. Magic build, she'll be chaining on the kill turn. So she's just built for uh, bird and fish killer. She's starting in the shift form too. Uh, just some morale fill type gear. So there's that, nothing too special. Um, yeah, so again, we're starting Esther in the shift form. Uh, Dean and Daisy are starting in shift, Kresnik is starting in shift, and Roberta's starting in the shift form. So we'll get into it. Okay. Now, since we're not... Uh, we're not geared with elemental weapons, so we're going to get a fire imbue from Roberta. So you want to send her first. She's going to do morale fill, uh, aquan killer for the mitigations, <clears throat> and then inferno breath for the fire imbue. And then we're going to LB with olive. So the, the hit's going to miss, but I, I think it still counts as hitting it with elemental damage. Kresnik is going to Arcane Stimulant. Dina and Daisy are going to go to the base form. They are going to put up cover and near its kiss. Esther, and in this order, uh, she's going to Storm Guardian for some general mitigation. Energizing Bunny and two Storm Brand. Uh, that's just a stat buff, uh, lightning in peril, and it fills her LB gauge. And Sylvie is going to do petals, binds for uh, magic and physical mitt, and then paladin's resolve for some regen. Yeah, th this boss does hurt, to be honest. Um, I, I want to say there is a little RNG on survivability, but, I mean, if you have Chow, I'm sure that could, you know, you'd fill your morale gauge a lot quicker, and, you know, it, it, Chow's probably a better tank for this than 
Athena and Daisy, they just gear for resistances pretty well. But anyway, uh, Athena and Daisy are going to give us healing ripples for some LB fill on Olive. And then Sexy Girl Summer, uh, just for some general mitigation. Roberta is going to the base one. She's going to give us morale fill, uh, mega breath to unlock quad cast, and then draconic triune for some LB fill on olive. Kresnik this turn is going to use shining siphon to imbue light onto the boss. Sylvie's going to shift. And she is going to LB fill to top off Olive, and then uh, Cheerful Paladin Strike for some morale gain. Olive's going to LB again, and Esther is going to the base form, and she is going to Bolting Slice for the defense break, and then just a couple times, and then bolting impact to reduce its accuracy a little. Now, there is going to be a four-hit AoE physical attack this turn, so we need uh, Paladin's defense for the five-stack of Mirage. Uh, last turn, if we had enough units with AoE Mirage, like, you know, Kaito, if he was on the party, we could have probably could have done a stack of Mirage that turn from Kaito, or a multi-stack Mirage from Kaito, um, and not imbued light, but... Um, I mean, overall, this helps with survivability. We're not going to get our morale up to 100% or 200% by the kill turn. Um, all is just strong enough that we'll, we'll damage cap. But anyway, um, so Mirage from Sylvie, uh, Lightning 1 from Sylvie to get ready for our turn 5 burst. And then just some morale fill. Esther is going to LB, and that'll be our elemental damage for the turn. Roberta, this turn is going to, let me see, oh yeah, base form LB. So that gives uh, all of uh, LB buff on the burst turn, a better one than what Sylvie gives. Crescent, like this turn is going to Arcane Antioxidant. For the uh, elemental buffs every turn. Shoreline, Fina, and Daisy are going to guard this turn. And then all of this turn is going to just Fiery Splash, Brilliant Splash, Sky and Sea Shooter, um, Giant Melon, Melon Ammo, and then her other skill. This all just fills morale.
Okay, so now we're back to turn one of the boss's rotation. Uh, Esther is going to fill her LB. So we're going to do a bolting slice, bolting impact, and then calm before the storm. Olive is going to, uh, again, uh, just killers, which is a... Uh, Okay, it's a long-term killer buff, but the mitigation is short-term. But anyway, so killers, uh, break again, um, giant melon ammo, and you just want to make sure that the last skill that you cast is fire cannon fire. That's her big 500% uh, magic store, so... Roberta and Ignita, they are going to, let's see, uh, just fill morale, refresh Aquam Killer in mitigation, and then just punch. <laughs> Gina and Daisy are going to guard again. Kresnik is going to medicinal potion twice. And then medicinal antioxidant to get rid of the imperils. And Sylvie is gonna LB. Shifted LB on Sylvie. And as you can see, our morale sucks, but Olive doesn't care. So we're going to LB with Esther, LB with Olive. We are going to Mystic Breath four times with Roberta. Um, Sylvie is going to punch three times, uh, just do morale fill. So each of her attacks are two hits, so... Um, this will get rid of all the stacks of Mirage and, you know, fill morale. So the boss isn't actually going to do anything this turn other than just uh, refresh its Mirage and uh, refresh, refresh its defensive buffs. But as of now, um, yeah, all of its defensive buffs are gone, so... We'll go ahead and chain this up. We'll send Roberta first, and then the LB finishers once she starts to hit. Okay, so this time, this turn, Sherlockine and Daisy are going to refresh cover and then refresh their uh, mitigations with Sexy Girl Summer. That is her general mitigation, right? Yeah. And then Kresnik this turn, just for safety, is going to put up re raise Heal. And just heal a couple times. So, three billion. I mean. So, I mean, despite not having full morale, it's still a damage cap. But, anyway. Uh, let's see. Phasey, this turn, is going to just punch a couple times. Just to get rid of any mirage. Kresnik this turn is just going to heal a couple times and then antioxidant. 
actually, I think what we want to do with Kresnik is heal, antioxidant, and then supplement for some buffs. Roberta's going to shift, and she will put up morale fill, um, support from the skies for some mirage, and then uh, emissary of demise. Base form with Sylvie. Yeah, I think I may have screwed up my order, but we'll, we'll deal. Uh, we're going to do elemental resistances from both of those, and then general knit from burgeoning defense. So Esther is going to refresh uh, just bolting slice and impact. Actually, we're going to do true storm brand. Bolting slice and bolting impact. And Olive is going to just whatever punch, I guess. Okay, so we're going to get ready for another burst on turn 9. So we're going back to the shift form with Sylvie. And she's going to, on this turn, lightning 1, and then bolting strike 2 times. Esther is going to energizing bunny, and then bolting slice twice. Olive is going to... Uh, just Sky Sea and Shooter, uh, whatever. Just do some power ups, giant melon ammo, and then dual summer shot. <clears throat> Fina and Daisy this turn. I'm trying to see. We're on turn three of the boss's rotation. I think we're just going to guard them. We are going to put up our barrier. Uh, defense and spirit buff, and then attack and magic buff. Kresnik is just going to heal a couple times, and then antioxidant. Roberta is going to the base form, and she is going to give us morale. Morale. Aquan Killer and uh, Mega Breath. So we are going to try to cap Olive with Sylvia and Esther. Um, I think on the count of one, I'll click Olive, count to one, and then send the chainers. Hopefully her hit uh, caps the chain. Yeah. Yeah.
So yeah, I mean, as you can see, the uh, yeah, we're taking a lot less damage um, once the morale bar is filled. But anyway, um, this turn we're going to, since the boss's defenses are down, we're just going to Mystic Breath a few times with the Roberta. I um, guess we can try to chain this up with... Esther. We'll just Bolting Slice and then Calm Before the Storm. And then we will try to cap again with uh, Olive. So just Killers, Breaks. Uh, it is going to put its defensive buffs up again the next turn, but we can power through that with Olive. So we'll just do... Yeah, actually, let's do this. So Killers, Fiery Splash, Giant Melon Ammo, which is a 300% store. Dual summer shot, and then finish that off with fire cannon fire. Um, Sylvie is going to shift at LB. Let me see. How much longer does she have cover? So, okay, she, she's got cover until next turn. She's just going to guard because we're killing next turn. And Kresnik can do just whatever, really. So we'll probably send Roberta and Olive and then Esther a second later. There's that. Sorry about that, that recording hit its maximum length and cut off, but anyway, we're back on turn 9, we're about to kill the boss. Um, now, you'll notice it did put up its uh, defense and spirit buffs again, um, but we can just power through that, so we'll put up whatever attack buff from the morale gauge, uh, so we're going to LB with Esther, LB with Olive, uh, Quad Mystic Breath with... Roberta, but the boss did put up Mirage again, so we are once again going to use Sylvie just to get rid of that. You can use any of her skills, um, any of her attack skills, so we'll eventually get rid of her Mirage. There you go. So now we burst. So I think we'll send... Oh, it doesn't matter. Um... Uh, I guess all of Esther first, just to get that magic break in there, so that Roberta's hits are at a 90% break. Um, does that matter? Nah, we'll just send Roberta first, and then the others. So, anyway, I mean, there's a rank one clear with this janky team. Um, yeah, don't have Chow, don't have Chiju, still. But, it is a rank one clear. I mean, rank one's rank one. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hope this might have helped a little bit. Anyway, catch you guys later. Um, yeah, I mean, just to throw it out there, I mean, Sinzar has a lot of different clears for this boss too, so you can always check him out. Uh, Ellen Wander, he has a riser clear, I think, so. Anyway, uh, catch you guys later. Bye.